and welcome to Viral Ed. Please don't forget to chuck us a like on the video below and subscribe for more videos in the future. Today we are going to learn about the skeletal system. We are going to look at what it is, how many bones do we have in our body, and what are the functions of the skeletal system. Let's start off with what is the skeletal system. The skeletal system is comprised of bones and joints. The bones provide the majority of strength, support, and help in a variety of bodily functions as you'll discover later in the video. The joints. There are around 100 joints in the human skeleton, which enable the skeleton to move through multiple ranges of movement. Just think, without these joints, we would be statues, unable to move. An example of a joint is your elbow joint which is where your humerus connects to your ulna and radius bones in your forearm. How many bones do we have? The typical human has 206 bones in their body. However, this isn't always the case. At birth, you are born with 300 bones. I know you're probably thinking, how do we lose bones? Where are these bones going? Well, when you're born, there is many bones, such as a skull, that haven't fully developed yet. This delayed fusion allows your brain to grow until the Bones fuse at around two years of age. Skeletal system functions. There are four main functions of the skeletal system which help the body in their own unique ways. Protection. The skeleton protects our delicate organs, preventing them from undergoing any harm. Some examples of these are the skull, which protects the brain. Rib cage, which protects the heart and lungs. And finally, the spinal column, which protects the spinal cord. Shape and support. The skeleton is the body's framework, holding our vital organs in place, not allowing them to move freely around our body. Without the skeleton, we would not have a posture and therefore look like a big blob, making movement really hard. Which leads into the next function, movement. Bones are the attachment sites for muscles. Without the muscles attaching to the bones, we would be unable to move. When you look at your arm, for example, muscles such as biceps and triceps are the reason your forearm is able to flex and extend. Also, we talked about before joints, which allow the bones a wide range of movement and without joints, the shoulder or hip wouldn't be able to move as freely as it does. Blood production. Red and white blood cells are produced in the bone marrow in either your humerus, femur, or ribs. These blood cells have many responsibilities within the body. Red blood cells consist of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen around the body and to the muscles. White blood cells are a vital part of your immune system, detecting and dealing with infections. An overview. What is it? The skeletal system is comprised of bones, which are responsible for the strength, and joints, which help with the range of movement. How many bones do we have? You have 206 bones during adulthood and 300 bones at birth. Because like we said before, your bones haven't fully fused together yet. Skeletal system functions. You have protection, protecting your vital organs, shape and support, the skeleton is the body's framework, holding your vital organs in place. Movement, bones are the attachment sites for muscles. Without the muscles attaching to bones, we'd be unable to move. And blood production, red and white blood cells are produced in bone marrow. 